Wondering how to get better at trading to be able to grow your inventory? Well, this video is exactly for you as we'll be revealing our best tips to get better trades and be a pro trader in Adopt Me. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey look Gunnet Squad, welcome back to a brand new video. So today as you read in the title, we are going to be giving you guys our best tips and tricks to get better at trading in Adopt Me. But before we get started, do not forget to like, subscribe, follow both of us in Roblox, and join our group. All the links are in the description. Now with no further ado, let's get right on to the tips. Understand pet values. So this is my first top tip because if you don't know what your pet is worth, you will probably end up not knowing what to trade it for or do a bad trade. Learning values is not as hard as you think. What I recommend if you are just starting off to trade your pets, you can look up on YouTube videos about trading a certain pet, but make sure that it is a recent video and not uploaded like a year ago because values keep changing in Adopt Me from time to time. So my next tip is to age pets and make gains. The reason for this is because a lot of people are more likely to overpay for full-grown pets because it will help them make gains or even mega so much faster. What I would recommend is to raise your pet until it's around preteen because you'll most likely get better offers for it than if it was newborn. If you want to make a name to trade, you can try making a common or uncommon as they can take less time and you will get a good trade out of it. Look for more than one offer. I know that sometimes it's hard to resist from accepting when you finally get a good offer for the pet you're trading. But I truly recommend looking at multiple offers so you don't regret accepting it. If you are allowed, you can talk to the other player and ask if you can friend them to think about their offer. This is also an important tip for trading. If you don't type in chat what pet you are trading, probably nobody is going to know that pet that you are trading for. Make sure to not spam in chat as people will ignore you. By the way, if you're looking for a specific pet, you can also use the chat to see if someone has one. Even if you don't see that a player has the pet you want out, it doesn't mean they don't have it in your inventory. Add your best pet first. I'm sure that we have all been in a trade in where the other player declines right before we have finished adding the pets. This is because players always expect the first pet you add into the trade to be the most valuable one of your offer. Let's say that you are trading a Baku and ads for a T-Rex. It's better to add the Baku first than the ads after as the other player will see your better pets first in the trade. I know that many of you already do this, but sometimes it happens. There are two different ways in which you can go into rich servers. Firstly, there are certain Adopt Me YouTubers that have links to their servers on the Roblox group. Some rich servers include SunnyXMisty, FishyBlocks, um, I can't really think of any others right now, but um, what you can do is go into these trading servers and try to find offers for one of your pets. The second option, if you don't want to do this, is to go into Adopt Me's service list and click on where it says exclude full servers for you to be able to log into a server faster. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you found it useful or helpful in any way, do not forget to smash that subscribe button and like. Also, don't forget to share with your family and friends so our channel can keep on growing. But with nothing else to say, we'll see you guys in our next video. Stay tuned. Bye!